Okay guys, my name is Ian and thank you for clicking on this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I measure an IEM. Uh, IEM is an acronym for in-ear monitor. All right, so in-ear monitors, uh, usually uh, they have the silicone uh, ear tips or the foam ear tips and that, you know, it goes into your ear. Uh, earbuds um, is a different way of measurement. Uh, but for in-ear monitors, which is IEM, this is the way I do it and I'm going to show you step by step uh, how I measure an IEM. Now before I start, I hope you guys uh, can consider to subscribe to my channel uh, and click on the bell so that you get notified of my future videos. Okay, so this is the gear that I use. Firstly is this coupler, right? Uh, don't worry, I'll leave a link down in the description below on how to get all this equipment so that you can get it yourself and do the measurements yourself okay so this is the coupler that i use uh, it's actually uh, for iems so um, this is a silicone uh, foam tip all right uh, you can use a silicone tip or you can use a foam tip but i prefer to use foam tips because it, it gives a better seal and a more consistent um, measurement okay so this is the coupler right uh, and this is uh, comes with a 3.5 headphone jack and this will go into the mic input of the sound card okay so the coupler together with the sound card okay so this is the sound card that is being provided by the seller i would suggest to get uh, these two uh, together the coupler and the sound card together uh, because you know the seller sells them as a pair so that uh, you know the sound um, being captured uh, is being calibrated to the sound card so i would suggest to get this uh, sound card together with this coupler all right and at the same time uh, when you buy this coupler uh, from the seller he will give you a calibration file uh, that will calibrate this coupler uh, to the industry standards okay and of course the ear tips so i will always standardize myself uh, when i do a measurement uh, with a foam tip it doesn't matter what i am that i'm measuring i'm always using a foam tip okay uh, then you'll need a computer all right so here i'm using a mac uh, you can use a pc a windows pc uh, it's up to your choice uh, but I have a I happen to have a Mac so I'm using a Mac and on the Mac uh, you will install uh, this software uh, called uh, room EQ wizard and the acronym for that is REW as we always call it okay and the last thing you need of course is the IEM that you want to measure so this is the um, TA1 uh, from TRN and this is uh, I, well I'd like to thank TRN for sending this to me and I want to measure this um, IEM so I thought you know, just make a video and show you guys how I do it okay so let's begin first thing you need to do is to open up your REW okay on the computer and then you take your sound card uh, do not insert the mic or the IEM into any ports yet just connect the sound card to the computer okay and then on the computer on the Mac it, uh, you should go to the system preference on the computer you go to your settings and on the Mac you click on sound and over here as you can see it's already selected on USB sound device for the input now adjust the input volume now this is very important in adjust the input volume uh, don't leave it to the max okay and then for the output same thing uh, you should select the USB sound device and the output volume again uh, reduce that volume this is very important a very important step uh, reason being is that when you plug in your um, IEM, which are essentially speakers, uh, you have the uh, interference noise and you don't want to damage your IEM or your speakers for that matter. Okay, 
So once that is set, all right, uh, then you'll be able to insert or plug in your microphone. Okay, so the microphone, uh, the coupler goes into the mic in port right here. And for the IEM, let's take it out. Okay, so this is the IEM. So it comes with a silicone tip. Oh, and this is MMCX. Doesn't matter. So change out the uh, tips. All right, change out the tips to the foam tips. All right, and then connect the 3.5 mm headphone jack to the front out, okay? Let's connect it like so. All right, now when I do a measurement, I always measure the left and then the right. So let's plug in the left side to the coupler and make sure the insertion is correct. So this is how I insert it. I'll make sure that there's enough coverage and there is a little bit of gap here and to make sure on all sides there is a seal okay so every side is sealed up so once that is done you confirm you have done that then you can just leave it and then let's move on to the computer so on the computer I will then go to my preference now uh, on the output device i'll choose a usb sound device the buffer is 32k i'll just leave it there and um, the speaker output is speaker okay i'll choose speaker and i'll choose left plus right the sample rate is 48 kilohertz and the timing reference output is left i select left okay for the input device, I will select a USB sound device. Buffer is 32K. And the input device is microphone instead of default. And I'll select left. And the loopback input is right. Okay. The sweep level is minus 6 dBFS. Okay. That's the uh, level that I'm sweeping at. Now, the sound card calibration, this is where... Uh, I will input the sound calibration file that is being provided by the seller okay and that's it okay I don't touch any of the settings here anymore I'll close this and then I'll do a cali calibration all right so every time I uh, measure an IEM I will calibrate the sound card uh, so that the SPL level is correct Okay, so I'll go to the generator, I'll click on that, I'll open that, and I'll open the SPL meter. Okay, now as you can see, uh, the SPL meter is right here. So my target here is to calibrate this number here to 32, okay, 32. So what I want to do is to go to my tone generator and select tones instead of noise. I think the default is noise uh, so you will need to select tones and the frequency hertz is 1000 and the uh, um, dbfs is minus six okay so once that is done uh, and on the um, spl meter uh, i will select c weighting and that's it okay so i'll play the file the output should be speaker and left plus right Okay, so I'll uh, click play and as you can see uh, this will change and if you see uh, the bottom number here is 28.9 that's a little bit too loud and of course the db, db here is about 87 that's telling me is too loud so what I'll do is I'll go to my system preference which is the sound settings over here, I'll adjust the output or the input, 
okay so what what i'll do here is suggest the output until i see this number hit 32 okay so adjust this okay it's around there 31 32 you know it doesn't matter so it's around there 31 okay so 31 is good it's a good number it's not too not too soft okay and then i'll close this up and i will calibrate which i'll click here calibrate and i'll calibrate it to 85 db all right and i'll click on finish 85 uh, when it first shows up it's going to show 75 so you're going to change this number to 85 and click on finish all right so the maximum spl will be 119 db and click ok so this number here will change to 85 db okay so now you can stop playing your tone file you can close it you can close this spl meter and you can start to uh, measure your IEM. so i'll go to measure i'll click on measure okay here uh, the settings that i have is spl and you can actually choose the name that you want to input so for example i can choose trn t a1 okay so this is the IEM that i'm measuring uh, i can add in some notes uh, the range just leave it at zero and the end frequency is 20,000 hertz just leave it uh, this option here should be minus 6 uh, dbfs on the right side the mode should be sweep and the settings the length just leave it 256 k uh, repetitions just leave it as one i don't change it timing again i don't change this timing as well uh, protection if you want just tap uh, check on this uh, board if heavy input is clipping this will protect your IEM uh, playback just leave it and the sample rate uh, I will change it to 48,000 uh, Hertz okay uh, measurements just leave it as one and there's no delay I don't change the delay unless you know I'm measuring speakers uh, in a room and I want to leave the room before um, the measurement starts so I'll put a delay timer here uh, but in this case I'm measuring uh, earphones or IEMs I'm just gonna leave the delay as zero the output is speaker uh, and options left plus right and all the settings are correct so I'll do a uh, check levels which is right here this tab here okay so as you can see the level is minus 31 dbfs and the db spl is 88 which is okay it's fine now i can take my measurement i'll click on start okay so that's the left side as you can see so i'll tap on all spl and as you can see i've measured and i've graphed out this trn ta1 okay uh, and um, you will want to measure both sides all right so that was just the left side so now i'm going to take the left side out okay and i'm going to measure the right side okay i think the make sure your tips are inserted properly okay and then you insert into the coupler again make sure the insertion is correct evenly uh, inserted okay no leaks no gaps and then you tap on measure again oh before you do that uh, in order to differentiate uh, you just might want to rename this just include an l so you know that this is the left side okay and then you start the next measurement so this time i'm going to measure the right side so i click on check levels again okay so the levels are fine so i'm going to start okay so there you go um I have measured both sides of the TRN TA1 okay so as you can see this is the measurements uh, of the TRN 
GTA 1 okay now on this software uh, you can actually add uh, import okay so I'm gonna import um, a target which is the Harmon target so I'm gonna import the um, Harmon target which is this one 2020 2019 target okay so this will want to normalize the Harmon target uh, to the TRN TA1 okay and both measurements of it all right so on this software a few settings you need to do uh, first is to set the limits um, this is the limits that I have set all right the left left side of the graph is uh, 20 Hertz and all the way to the right side which is 20,000 Hertz and on the top uh, the maximum I'll go is 85 and the bottom I'll go is 30 okay um, so this is the settings I have uh, then click on apply settings okay then you go to your um, uh, so wait I can't normalize this okay so you can go to your settings up here or like you can select the uh, TRN the first measurement that you um, measured okay um, and then you can let me just click on all SPL okay and then you can change uh, the um, offset okay you can offset this measurement according to the um, Harman target okay so as you can see uh, the Harman target is this blue line here uh, and it's already normalized at 85 dB at 1000 Hertz okay you see this is the 1000 Hertz and it's normalized at 85 dB all right uh, and I think our measurement uh, which is the measurement of the TA1 is almost there but just to show you you can actually adjust the SPL offset so that it is exactly at uh, normalized at 85 dB at 1000 Hertz so um, this graph now looks a little bit messy so I can turn off uncheck the Harman target and I can uncheck the TRN TA1 on the right side okay so now I can see just one line which is TR the TRN TA1 the left side okay so I can adjust I just click up just make it go up a little bit and now as you can see it is exactly at the um, 1000 Hertz uh, normalized at 85 dB okay so uh, let's move on to the next one which is the right side okay I can now uncheck this and check on the right side and I can see the right side so I can move the line up just a little bit so it matches uh, the 1000 db uh, 1000 Hertz at 80, 85 dB okay so these two lines are normalized right so I can close this controls here and turn it on and as you can see these two sides which is the left side and the right side is normalized at 1000 Hertz at 85 dB now I can turn on my Harman target and you can see it's all aligned at this point here and with this reference you can read uh, the graph of this IEM so basically you can tell that this is really bassy all right it's got a lot of base mid base uh, the sub base is rolled off okay and the mids is pretty okay is a bit recessed and the uh, treble upper mids and treble is uh, pretty bright okay is mm, yeah pretty bright I've got to listen to it to really uh, reference to this graph okay so uh, just to take note a graph is just for reference it does not tell you how the IEM will sound you need to listen to it at the same time reference it to this graph and come to a conclusion before you actually tell someone how that IEM sounds okay so I will never ever look at a graph 
and tell someone else how this I am will sound. Okay, because there are other aspects that you cannot measure, like tone, timbre, technicalities. Okay, so these are the few things that you cannot measure. You only can measure the frequency response. Okay, so that's it. That's is how I measure an I am. Uh, I hope you guys um, learn something from this. And if you did, uh, or if you have any questions, uh, you can leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day ahead, and I'll see you again in my next video. Peace.